dum 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 all right enough of that for a second i have to mix her this baby back down hey kids remember oregon trail i do it was a great game way back when give me a second here i have to see if everything's working properly Everything seems fine! Yay! So, <laughs> you guys remember, this is the, oh my god, this just sounds pretty loud to me. I don't know if that's just me, or, or what. But, uh, if you remember, I don't know if it's pronounced Oregon, 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 it's not Oregon. Well, I mean, it's not Oregon, like Oregon entrails. But for the purposes of this video, I think I'll refer to it as the Oregon Trail rather than Oregon, because it sounds too much like that other game. But uh, if you remember, the Oregon Trail was uh, was a really popular game for a long time, particularly because it was uh, of an educational value as well, and kids could play it in school. And there have been very there have been a lot of iterations of this game. Uh, this is the one that I'm most familiar with. There we go. Ah, uh, back. I just, I just wanted the music to stop for a second. <laughs> the, the music, it's, uh, it was loud for me. Um, but back in the day, this was one of the few games that I had that I would play. It was uh, essentially the Oregon Trail. Um, Rain? No, Rain is the sequel to Mist? I don't remember. I played Mist because back in the day, uh, Mist was like this really impressive game compared to like the others that were in that genre. Um, I'm not a big fan of that kind of game, but, you know, Mist was there. My brother liked that more than I did. Uh, and, you know, I had a Roller Coaster Tycoon, which still to this day is one of the greatest uh, simulation games of, of all time, particularly for a theme park. Um, let's see, what else did I have? Uh, War of War, uh, World of Warcraft, one of the just premier games still today most people uh, are familiar with the MMO uh, World of Warcraft that's what the MMO is actually called uh, the original title was just Warcraft and then there was, it was Warcraft Orcs vs. Humans which was amazing for its time and you know it was like mind boggling and then there was Warcraft 2 which was such a drastic change from the original Warcraft and then there was Warcraft uh, there's an expansion for 2 but I don't remember what the actual titling was. But then there was Warcraft 3, which again, was a drastic change from what Warcraft 2 was. Because this was back in the time where kind of like, um, technology was really going through a lot of changes. And, you know, it, it's not like nowadays where, where games, where multiple like games in the same genre focus more on the, on changing the story and changing and just improving the various things, but keeping the core. Back then, it was just like technology was taking such leaps and bounds that going from one game to another, like Warcraft 1 to Warcraft 2, there was just so many differences that you could make because of it. And so, you know, back in these times, like those were the premier games of Warcraft and, and Oregon Trail and, and just, it was, it was a good time. So this was one of the few games that I, like, was really into at the time and, uh, yeah. So I figured, you know, I ingested body wash today, and I feel like I have a very sick stomach, and uh, I need something that isn't going to make me throw up, and this is one of the easiest things by far to record that won't make me throw up. It's also, I think, freeware at this point. I can't remember where I picked this up at, um, but I certainly didn't pay for it. It was definitely freeware. I had the original title a long time ago, and then I've had, like, all these different alliterations of it. I think the newest one's actually, like, really disappointing, and I'd rather play this one, to be honest. Like, I think this was, like, my, like, the last of the ones that I actually enjoyed, so that's something. It's actually kind of cool, is this. Welcome to the Oregon Trail. You're about to begin a great adventure traveling the Oregon Trail across the rugged landscape of North America. Your covered wagon, pulled by a team of oxen, will travel from Independence, Missouri to the fertile Willamette Valley of the Oregon Territory, 
a journey of approximately 2,000 miles. Before you set off on the trail, you must register your name, the names of the members of your wagon party, and your occupation. After that, you'll need to buy supplies and make other important decisions. Good luck! Now, for the time, you know, voice acting wasn't really a thing too much. Um, and this isn't really voice acting, this doesn't count quite frankly as voice acting, it's more of just reading. What the hell was that? I'll ignore it. This is more just reading. But nonetheless, like to have this audio file that's in the game that actually sounds good is it was impressive for the time. And it's still I still like it. I mean, I could have read this, you know. Welcome to the Oregon Trail. You're about to begin a great adventure, traveling the Oregon Trail across the rugged landscape of North America. But that's just not as good as as hers. She has a lovely voice. But another thing that made this game so unique, like the, the Oregon Trail, Oregon Trail, uh, Oregon Trail, so unique, was that it it's actually based on a real thing. Whenever Americans traveled from, uh, you know, the east, the eastern coast areas, um, to, like further over to the newly acquired Oregon Territory. And it was it was a rather arduous, difficult journey because at that point in time, you know, like the whole middle Central America uh, was like central, you know, of the United States was just this not really um, nice place to be at the time. It was it was dusty and uh, for people like we didn't really understand how to live there it was hot it was dusty the climates were just very strange for the time we were used to um, you know the eastern coast climates which aren't as uh, drastic I would say as the Central America uh, Central United States climates especially at the time were so uh, the trek was pretty tough especially back then whenever they're using these wagons that are pulled by oxen and they have to carry all of their belongings across like this this was like a journey that would take you know like half a year probably more to to get across this territory and you know any number of things could happen you could die going across this you could be robbed you could lose everything just to get there but the premise was that you would get to this area where you would essentially get free land the back then you didn't really purchase per se land at the time if it was an unclaimed land you would go and claim it it's there wasn't really this whole buy it from the government kind of thing at the time so the idea was that you could go from not owning anything on the eastern coast to owning a nice little farm or ranch which was the principal way you'd make money at the time um over in this like extremely fertile area that was not being you know utilized so a lot of people were were going to do that and it was uh it was a pretty rough journey you would take all of your things and you would just go and you would hope for the best and you know once you get there you'd have to build you know and you'd have to have all the stuff that you needed and everything like you would need to already have everything you you know you would need to make a ranch so you'd have to have like all of your seeds and your you know your food your money your your animals i mean you could probably buy animals once you were there if you were one of the later settlers but other, but you'd still need like money and all that and all that jazz, and you'd need the stuff that would get you from point A to point B to the long journey. So this is a this is a very fun game that kind of displayed that journey part, and uh, and it did it really well. So we're gonna play it. But anyway, <laughs> I don't know I don't know what I was going with for that original part, but you know. All right, so this is this is another unique portion of this game was uh there's no easy normal hard insane difficulties to this game the game's difficulty is actually based upon uh two two things i guess it's based upon what occupation you choose and it's based upon uh when you decide to set out so for instance you can kind of look at this as uh these banker is definitely in 
they're kind of set up into easy normal area. The teacher is definitely the hardest because this would be like the insane difficulty teacher would be because there's no benefits to it. I'm pretty sure if you go into the explanation, yeah, see? Teacher gives you no exp uh, bonus and you get bonuses based on what you actually uh, pick. I guess these aren't ordered as I thought they were. I thought Saddle Maker was one of the uh, crappier classes, but apparently it doesn't have any advantages, but apparently it's not as bad as the farmer, but farmers have the advantage of keeping their oxes, oxen alive, whereas they're, they like the difference of doctor, where the doctor can keep the, you know, your party members alive, the farmer can keep your oxen alive, and your oxen aren't more important than people, but are more prone to death and cost a lot to replace. Whereas your people are likely only going to die. You're only going to lose your, your people from random events that you don't react to well. And to uh, essentially failing to cross a river. Those are really the, the big ones that are going to kill your party. Are random events that you don't take care of properly. And, uh, you know, crossing a river. However, if you get some, like, horrible disease, like typhoid fever... No matter what you do, you're probably going to lose that person, you know? So, carpenters are more likely to repair broken wagon parts. Blacksmiths more likely to repair broken wagon parts. These, uh, I think that they're more likely to repair certain wagon parts, but I'm not sure if that's actually truthful. And that's about it. Every Everything else is just monetary. You know, bankers are super wealthy. You can buy a bunch of stuff for the initial journey and keep a bunch of cash on you as well. Doctor can do the same. Merchants, um, I actually thought in later versions of this game, I believe the merchant is better at getting, uh, getting favorable deals from other travelers. But I don't know if that's, like, obviously it's not in this game, but I, I think it's what it is. But they have a lot of cash as well, you know, so. Now, I think I'm going to, um, normally I like to go Carpenter, because... I just like the ability to fix my wagon. One of the most annoying things in this game is breaking a wheel or or whatever. You know, that's just annoying as all heck. And they also have a decent amount of money to make use of, but I think we'll go farmer for the for the purpose of funsies. So let's head let's do that. Let's 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 do that. And somewhere in this video there'll be an annotation like to skip past all of the intro or whatever, because a lot of people won't care for that. But too bad for them. Alright, so I'm obviously the leader of the caravan, because I'm me. We'll also bring my good buddy, Cross Knights, with us. You know, he's he's a nice guy. He's very resourceful with his graphic design that wouldn't even exist at this time. You know, graphic design for that time would have been... Painting. <laughs> That's all it would be. You can paint our, you can paint our wagon canvas. We can, we can roll out in style. Oh, nice. Nice. We'll also bring Private Buttkiss, if I can fit that. Not quite. So if we'll just bring Buttkiss. I don't know how many spaces I'm allowed. The game doesn't explain that, but it will beep at me if I mess up. So we'll bring Buttkiss. You know, he's he's cool. I like him. He's a nice guy. And then we'll bring Companion Cube. But since we can't fit Companion Cube, I'm pretty sure. We'll just bring Cube. He's, uh, he's not so much of a companion anymore. We'll probably leave him behind somewhere. He's the one I want to die first. I'll be honest, I don't like you very much, Cube. I'm joking, you're my best friend ever. And we'll also bring Daglas, because you know what? He is a good guy, and I don't do enough with him. So we'll bring him with us. And that way I won't feel nearly as bad if he dies. What? <laughs> nice. Alright, so now this is the other portion of the difficulty. Choosing when you're leaving. And it explains it right here. If you leave too early, won't be grass for your oxen to eat. You might, you might encounter some cold weather and snowstorms, but if you leave too late, you may not get to Oregon before winter. Which means that whenever you're going down the last part of this game, yeah, it's frozen rivers. It's a lovely time. You don't want to. You don't want to deal with blizzards and frozen rivers. That sucks. But if you leave at just the right time, there'll be green grass and the most part mild weather. So we gotta pick when we're leaving and. Um, it's tough because you don't want to get caught in the summer and you don't want to get caught like you don't want to get caught in uh 
the central plains during the summer and you don't want to get caught in the central plains or oregon during the winter so you kind of have to work around that you sort of want to get to the worst parts of your journey during the spring and the fall so hi kitty hey buddy what's up so we're going to try to figure that out so uh, oof it's it's a tough one it's a toss up no cat stop it go away He's he's up here. He's near my mouse. I can't really play it whenever he's here. Ah, yes. Little kitty, little kitty. Well, I think we're going to leave in the... I think we'll leave it... Stop it, cat. <laughs> I need to play. I think we'll leave in March. Which, obviously... Oh, we're leaving too early. Cold weather. Meh. I mean, yeah, that's going to be a thing. But it means that if I rush, I might be able to get to uh, the Central Plains... Well, maybe by May. That's the that's the goal. And then summer would be Oregon Trail, the, like the the Oregon area. So that's the goal. We'll try to leave early. We'll see what happens. I have four hundred bucks to spend. I'm not gonna bring much food. I can hunt. So we'll do that. Cat, I need you to like go away for a bit. You know, get off my mouse. I can't play like this, cat. I can't play like this. Artificial difficulty. Ah. He uh, he's been gone for a while, so now he's back and he's like, "Yo, I uh, I need to be friendly with you. We need to be best buds." So let's see how much I can bring. Now clothing, if I remember right, it's the uh, kind of pointless. So, cat. He's stepping on my mouse. So I literally can't play. Come here. Uh. There we go. Yeah. Now he's on my lap. He probably won't stay. He doesn't like sitting on my lap for some reason. What? You messed up my entire mouse. There we go. Alright, so clothing's kind of worthless, but, you know, you use it for trading primarily and keeping, you know, warm. And covered. You don't want to run around nude. This isn't a nudie farm. Let's be honest here. The elements are bad. <laughs> Snakes hurt. <laughs> Look. Some things, some things are bad. So that's that's not gonna work for me. Ten oxen's a little bit much anyway. You want to have some money afterwards. I think this will actually give you a pretty decent advice. Our macaranda six. Yeah, see. So, two hundred pounds of food for each person in your party. I'll start out with two hundred pounds. So let's see. Yeah, it's nice that they explain it for you. I wonder what the voice acting for this guy is going to be. I recommend at least six oxen to pull your wagon. And you'll need plenty of flour, sugar, bacon, coffee, and other types of food. I suggest you start out with at least 200 pounds of food for each person in your party. You'll need I like it. He kind of sounds like, uh... I don't know, he just sounds like, um... You know, a stereotypical guy with, like, the the old uh, circular glasses <laughs> if you've ever seen 310 to Yuma he sounds like he uh, he sounds like what the doctor would look like Ben Tur Tur Al no Alan Tur I don't know what his name was uh, I don't know who the actor was or who the doctor actually was but he sounds like how that guy should look he, he looks he sounds like yeah you will never words all right so we have to figure out how we're gonna do this now food goes bad and the heavier your wagon is, the harder it is to do certain things. So keep that in mind when you're buying stuff. Over, I'm a, I'm a pretty poor guy. I don't got much money, so it's kind of rough for me. I want to buy 50 boxes of bullets. I can't. Let's do 40. I could. That's a lot of bullets. Let's do 30. I, I can pick up bullets later on in the journey. Kitty leaving now? Okay. Bye, cat. Oh, yeah. Thanks for, uh, thanks for leaving me with a mouthful of fur because you threw your tail up in my face we'll only bring five oxen because i want to keep some money behind and it's probably very likely i'm going to replace you know a bunch of dead oxen later on in the journey that always happens my oxen don't live very long and because i'm a farmer i need to learn how to not wear as many clothings because it, you know i'm poor not because of anything else because i'm poor <laughs> i don't i don't have money for this shit and then the music hits. Just 
Sounds pretty loud to me. Yeah, you shut up, game. You know who's better. I'm better. I own you. You're on my computer. I could delete you at any time. What, what would you do about that? You're still really loud. What the hell, man? What the hell? What the hell, game? Alright, so after a long, uh, long working time, we began in Independence, Mi oh man, there's cat fur all over me. Independence, Missouri. With cat fur. Lots of cat fur. Man, it looks like it's less than 50 degrees. I'm happy with that. That's, uh, as a Pennsylvanian, you know, I'm very used to this kind of weather. Where it was, until a couple, you know, well, it's 57 right now, I guess I can't really complain yet. But, uh, you know, it's been, it's been warmer these past couple of years. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That sucked. Alright. So now it's time for us to maneuver ourselves. What are our rations looking like? Yeah, they better be filling. They better be filling. Let's go. What's our pace? Steady? I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, well. We'll take our nice slow trek. We should probably rush it, but you know. How much food do we have? 185 pounds? That's good. Alright, I'm bored. Time to go faster. I want to get to uh, this area by before summer, and then this will be like summer area. That's what I want. So. Daglas has cholera! Damn it, Daglas! It's Cube's job to get cholera. I guess we are by water. Water. Ah, oh, Daglas. Fine, I'll go a little bit slower for you. You can also rest to help uh, sick people recover. But cholera is not the most deadly thing ever. So... Now we get to figure out how to cross the Kansas River Crossing. Oh my god. 10.7 feet deep. Can we go to like a different part of the river? I'll camp here. Daglas is sick anyway. 9.8 feet deep. can't forward. It's not shallow enough. We can't calc because our wagon's freaking heavy as all hell. I almost hit forward. That would have been great. Uh, it's five, five dollars. I'll do it. This is the safest route. We, we don't want to die a horrible death. My game stopped working. Let's just sit here and wait for a bit. There we go. Looks like we made it. Oh, good. I paid six dollars for this. Oh, Daglas is fine. He's also a chick now. Sexy. <laughs> Let's hunt. Oh, I was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna. I was gonna shoot the duck. <laughs> but then. Oh man. So I want that bison to come back, but he. Uh, he's not very happy. Where's the one with the river? Oh, I'm not at a place with the river. I really like that place. Resist the temptation to waste bullets. And shoot bison in head! God. I don't think I can actually carry two bison. Oh, well. Yep. 200 pounds. Let's go hunting again. Let's only shoot one bison this time, though. Because two was way over the amount of pounds that we could carry. And I don't want to make them go extinct. That was that was intended to be a joke. Because, you know, hunters actually. Okay. Well, enough of that. I did like the flowers in the front scene. That one. The, mo the Mostly the moving is more uh, aesthetic than anything else. It's just like, yay. Come here, bison, bison, bison. Come here. I actually don't think there were any bison near Missouri. So, I'm a little bit... I mean, that, 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 that seems like it'd be a little bit out of the range of where they'd live. Doesn't look like we're going to get anything. I think I need to move on. The bullets have scared the game away. 
those two other bisons that move extremely slowly just did not want to be here. They're like, sorry, I'm out. Daglas! Daglas! Hands and feet inside the wagon at all times. God. Some people just tumbling out of these wagons. You died from a broken leg, Daglas. Well, we'll miss you fondly. <laughs> we'll miss you fondly. Is that a word? Is that... I don't think so. Man, I'm surprised. Dying from a broken leg? Where, where are you going? Where are you going? Nowhere, because you're dead. Oh, they're actually... Those deer are actually pretty small. Alright. Well, I'm okay with that. Man, it is cold out here. Up in... I have no idea where the hell we are. And now we're at the Big Blue River Crossing. 3.9 feet deep in the middle. I think that's a little bit too deep for oxen. Let's wait here for a bit. 3.7, I still think that's a little bit too deep. Can we get, like, 3? Uh, I think that, I still think that's too deep for oxen. Maybe? See, now, now we're at the part where caulking the wagon is unviable because you will, it's, it's too shallow for that. But our wagon's also heavy, so. No, 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 no! Damn it, oxen! <laughs> really? Oxen don't come up 3.4 feet? Really? Oxen aren't that tall? I am, I'm sort of surprised by that. You would think an oxen holding its head up would be like, you know, able to, able to walk and breathe. Well, I guess it, you have the measles. Well, we did just take a swim, you know, we did take a swim. Blizzard in the end of March. I'll take it. Oh, our, our wagon's actually white. I did not notice that. Oh, I really want to. I really... Is that the cat? Oh, no, it wasn't. Oh, I just... This is a shitty place to hunt. Let's hunt over here. Although, it is very cold out. What am I look? Oh. Hello. That's all I needed. <laughs> Alright, moving along, everyone. <laughs> now, cross should be fine. Measles aren't like the, you know, the really bad killer of the Oregon Trail. Typhoid fever is like the one that'll murder you. Usually. Broken limbs aren't usually bad, but somehow Daglas died from one. I'm not sure if it's because he wasn't riding in the back of our wagon. Or, you know, if he was trying to walk on that leg, and maybe tripped and fell in some mud, and then had a worm burrow into the open leg, and and crawl up his leg, and get to his femur, and then go to his spinal cord, and, and burrow its way deep into his brain, take him over, and make him drown himself. I don't know. It's a mystery. Cross is better, though. That's all we have to... You know, he died around here. He didn't He didn't go far from home, at least. You know, he was buried... He was buried at home. And that that should be... I mean, he's actually from Canada. But in the context of this game, we started from Missouri. So he's remarkably closer to home than any of us are going to be. So, I mean, you know, that's, that's cool. That's cool. I'm... Pretty sure I should have bought something there. Oh well. We can also talk to people, by the way. I hear terrible stories about wagon parties running out of food. Yeah, and they'll, they'll occasionally tell you like bad things coming up 
is wait. Chimney rock by moonlight is awfully sublime. You don't sound like a little girl. I don't like you anymore. Away with you! Heathen. Where are we going, by the way? I have no idea where our next stop is. Our next landmark. In other games... Oh, wait, here it is. Two Chimney Rock. I was about to say, in other games, I told you. But it does, it does. Yeah, there's... <sighs> Sorry, guys. We can't advance. There's fog. Seriously, I'm from Pennsylvania. Fog used to be, a uh, like... <laughs> Look at these idiots sleeping. <laughs> I'm going to sneak into their wagon! Ooh, this is a very cute set of pajamas. I'm going to take them! But anyway, fog used to be, not so much anymore, but used to be run of the mill. You know, it was foggy, very foggy, quite a lot. It was like something out of that one movie with the monsters that come out of the fog. I have no idea what that movie's called, mind you. But it would be like that kind of fog. You know, we had that a lot didn't bother us because we're Pennsylvanians and we're used to it but you know still run of the mill for me I guess these characters are supposed to be more from like Missouri and aren't you know as used to the heavy fogs because meh and also oxen would be like I don't know what way to go and I guess they are traveling in unfamiliar territory so I could understand it but still run of the mill for me I'm gonna shoot something real fast I don't want that deer it's not enough pounds. I would like a bison. I only need one bison, and the rest of the forest critters can go home free. You are a fast little guy. Is that a bison peeking its head out? Is it? Is it? Damn it. I took a... Oh, that was a bison! It just started walking out! It was like, I hear a gunshot. I must investigate. As defender of the for no, <laughs> the bison's getting shot. I have to take a bullet for him. <laughs> oh jeez, yeah, that was fun. How's everybody doing? Oh, you're dead. Well, that sucks. Total wagon up. Really, really a lot of weight. Heavy fog, everyone. Moving along. We're in April. Pick up the pace, guys. We're in April. We need to get at least to here by... By May. That's a nice sound. I don't think there was a shop there. So, cross! Cross! Can you even get measles that fast? Between another, like... It's been a month! I think, since you last had measles. Like, wouldn't your immune system be like, Nope. I know afraid of measles. Can I shoot something? Why am I shooting something? What is the point of this? Don't I have enough food? Well, I could sell it. We're going to arrive at a fort. I can sell food there. This isn't actually a bad plan, now that I think about it. Also, it's remarkably easy to kill bison, and I have way too many bullets, so I should kill bison. Although all I'm seeing are little squirrels carrying their freaking fluffy tails and running around the mountainside. Look at them beautiful mountains. Okay, well, I'm leaving. <sighs> boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, you dears. I don't actually know. Yeah, those are probably deer. I mean, look, they have antlers. Look at these cool antlers. White tails. You know, I don't know deer breeds. Uh, I'm assuming the white tailed deer is a deer. You know, I'm assuming because if you don't know, humans are very unimaginative whenever we name things. We would gladly name something a white tailed. You know? Like, that's what we do. I want a bison, you know? I'd have to kill like four deer versus one bison. I mean, come on. Think about game, game, think about the wildlife here, alright? 
one bison for four deer is a is a good sell, I think. Look at what you made me do. All I wanted was a bison. But no, you wanna give me the bison. Now there's a dead deer. You know whose fault that is? Well, technically it's mine. I did shoot it, but you know, shut up. Heavy fog. And so we took our final bows. 32 more, uh, 7 more, alright. Hello, sir. I wish to buy an auction. How about two auction? Damn it. I forgot this game doesn't have selling. The way that you uh, sell is actually to trade. So we'll do that in a bit. Hey, everybody. We would like some... We would like to auction. We would like to auction. Okay, can I just have one oxen then? I just need an oxen here. For two sets of clothing. Yeah, I mean, you know. I can just... I mean, Daglas is dead. We can sell his clothing. And, uh, we can just... We could, we could buy an extra one, I mean. Ah, eh, someone else will die. We'll just wear their clothing. We'll wear their clothing. And maybe their skin. I'm having more fun playing this than I normally should. Alright, well, it's starting to get towards, uh, May area. I would love us to, uh, you know, at least get to Independence Rock by that time. Ugh. Hunting in the in the very hot times is brutal. You're not gonna get shit. Although hunting in the very cold times, kind of the same. Uh oh. Hey! Stop it! I'm trying to click buttons. We'll go a little bit slower for Cube, but I mean he's likely dead. He has typhoid fever. I mean, you know, what What can we really do for that? Except for hunt. We'll get you some nice fresh meat, Cube. Now, same dilemma as last time. Would a bison like to come? Or am I going to have to hunt four times and kill a bunch of deer? It's your choice, game. Make the right one. Deers. Let's go. Ah, this is the one. This is the one I like, because if you wait long enough, they'd walk out to here, and then you have a lot of shot time. That's nice. Don't make me kill the bunnies. I will. I'm a sick, cold bastard. But I don't want to, you know. They don't give me anything. It's just a waste. There's the bison. Wait, it left. No! Come back. Please. Please. Come back. Please. Defend the other forest creatures, bison. Damn it, that deer is fast. Faster than a moving bullet. I am... Quite honestly, I'm, I'm pretty surprised. Alright, well. We're 62 miles. And we have bad water. And Cube just... He just, like, tried to... He was like, look guys. I can do a 450 flip off the freaking front of the wagon. Yay! And then he, he broke his leg. Because he's a dumbass. And then we got lost for three days. So I can't even choose to wait. Cube's just wandering around a barren wasteland with a broken leg. I'd say I'm surprised, but I'm not. Do cubes even have legs? I don't think they do. Quite frankly, I remember them being square-shaped and uh, having four edges. Well, six sides and what, like eight, 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 eight edges? I don't even remember what the, uh, what the word is. Vertices? I don't even know. I don't even know, man. Look. Look. Math is one thing, but the thingy that involves shapes is the complete other, and I fucking hated that, because I was like, this is the most pointless bullcrap I've ever listened to. I could care less. A cube's a cube. I don't need to know about its vertices and its, its freaking sides and points and stupidities. Can I, um... This one's actually dumb because this this takes up like half the screen but uh can i have an oxen or a bison oh I'm gonna start hunting poor innocent deer then i don't want to 
to do this to you. Don't look at me. You don't know I'm here. I'm behind a computer monitor. Damn it, that thing is fast. Bullets, just not able. Alrighty. Fuck you, squirrels. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> ah, I got it! You heard it go down! Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. No! No! Aw, oh, damn it. I'm, I screwed up because I was, I was so confused. There we go. It's... <laughs> I want to shoot them out of the sky. I used to be so good at it. No! <laughs> oh, I fell in the water. <laughs> We're not getting that. <laughs> We're not getting that one now. What what exactly is bad water? Because, I mean, someone got cholera, and we weren't told it was bad water. Oh, great, typhoid fever. Let's have more typhoid fever and no water. Let's have everything go wrong. That's a great plan. Look at this water. It doesn't look bad. It looks crystal clean and, like, beautiful, as one would say. Look, we need food so that we can rest and uh, let our poor little idiots, you know, get over their typhoid fever because otherwise... Otherwise, they're going to die via typhoid fever and overexertion. And I really want to shoot that stupid little squirrel with its two freaking anim... I hate you little squirrels. I'm from Pennsylvania. You don't know what you've done to my family. I don't know why people hunt squirrels. It doesn't really seem like a, you know, useful thing to do, quite frankly. Uh, you're not getting much meat from it. I guess you can control the squirrel population then, I guess? Because, I mean, you know, they do like to eat freaking trees. You know, that's not nice. And by that, I mean, you know, they eat the, the nuts of, like, the, uh, the... Okay. No, I'm just gonna let my poor people die. I mean... It is only butt kissing Cube. Cross and I are fine. Particularly me. I'm perfect. I mean, as far as it goes anyway, Operation Human Shield, right? They shield me from broken legs and health problems. And in return... And in return, um... Stuff. Can I get like f t t 30 pounds of food? Anyone willing to anyone willing to trade me? Okay, 20 pounds of food. For 54 bullets. I was about to say that's outrageous, but I'm pretty sure I have 400 some bullets. I'm not sure, but now I am. I have 420. Exactly. I don't know how I ended up with a round number, but that's cool. Uh, in other games, uh, in later games, you can actually say what you're willing to trade. Which is, uh, I think, a better thing than saying what you want. Because trading bullets is uh, it's pretty nice for me. And that is how I like to do this game. I like to buy all the bullets I'm going to use right at the beginning. Because then I don't got to worry about it. Mm -hmm. Are that really the only reason to keep money with you, other than the few shops that you'll come around, is to, uh, is that you can also trade the money. Some people want money. You know. But kiss, he's well. He no longer has typhoid fever. It is a killer, folks. Typhoid and cholera kills lots of people. Especially because they're, you know, stressed and overexerted from traveling and not getting water. Because apparently there's no water on this goddamn trail. I mean, you know, there's only water fucking everywhere. But, you know, that's, that's okay. Again, there's only water fucking everywhere that would make there be grass. And it's not like it's barren times and the... I hate you all. <gasps> people died! I have never been more excited of people being dead. Until now, and I could steal their clothing and their wagon wheel. 
That's really sad. Oh, we don't have food. My bad. <laughs> I didn't notice. Just give me a bison. Remember, bison for like four deer. It's it's a ooh. We got like the fatter deers, the elks. Is that a uh, is that a bison's head? Just damn it! I was <laughs> look, look. There may have been a bison, and I was trying to kill it. Damn it. Well, at least I got three of those. That has to be like 120, right? Damn it, you didn't keep running. Smart. Clever girl. Clever girl. I mean, you know. These things are weird. I don't know what their programming is, but they really like to change. I, I think I have enough food. I think. I oh my god! Well, that's a lot of... Gotta give it to the birdies. Shut up, Oxen, unless you want to die. Well, let's take a rest for two days. Kind of recover. Our people are tired. They're like, Bleh. I have gingivitis. Because we forgot to bring oranges. Oh, no. We're like pirate. Wait. That's scurvy. We're like pirates. Oh, let's take the shortcut. I don't need supplies. Who needs supplies? Damn it! It's like we're going for supplies anyway! <laughs> but, cause just... Get over it. When do fevers kill people? Actually, quite often. But this is a normal, nondescript fever. Look at those points. Mmm, I could put this in my trophy realm. Oh, shit. Well, I got that one. Shot it right in the tukus. Look at look at these trophies I'm getting. Mmm, trophies. <laughs> that poor <laughs> that poor duck. Uh, quack, quack, quack. Ah! <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> All right, that should that was close enough, yeah. Let us move on. We don't want to have too many pounds. All right, we don't want to have too many pounds anyway. Got to go across a freaking river. Me. Mm -hmm. Cube, I didn't even know you were sick anymore, but you're better. <laughs> Look, sometimes I lose track of my comrades. As far as I'm concerned, they can all die. As long as I make it in the end, that's all that matters. Right? I mean, let's be honest, we're not going to make it. We're all going to die. River crossings in this game are terrible. And cause the death. Oh, He died from a combination of typhoid fever and normal fever. The most lethal of combinations. I'm pretty sure he didn't get over his typhoid. I'm not sure if he did or not. Doesn't cute Cross! Hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times! God! We could wait and let him, you know, feel a little- Oops. Feel a little better. Funny thing is, you know, you don't get over a broken leg in a month. Well, I guess you kind of do. With proper care. Oh, look. Look, Cross. We wait for you. And Cube gets typhoid fever. Again. His immune system, man. It's like the weakest thing I've ever seen. I'm just going to keep going. It's, it's pretty likely someone's going to die at the river crossing anyway. So, I mean, if we get across it, we might rest for Cube. He died of dysentery. He didn't have dysentery. He had a broken leg. The game is lying to us. Seriously, he had a broken leg. He had dysentery. Doesn't dysentery give you uh, the runs? I actually don't know. I have never had dysentery. Well, there's always some time in my life. My goal, 40, let's, let's attempt to ford the river. My goal in life, get dysentery. You heard it here first. <laughs> That'd be terrible. My goal in life is to get, could you imagine that? Johnny, would you like to stand up in front of the class and tell them what your goal is in life? Okay. Well, actually, this is, this is my Kenny voice. Okay. 
Hello, everyone. My name is Kenny. That's not even. It's not even proper. Hello, my name's Kenny. My goal in life is to get dysentery, and if I survive. Forty-five bullets. That's it. That's okay. And if I survive from that, I want to get typhoid fever just to experience it. Oh! <laughs> and then, like every other kid prior to that, would be like the normal kid, you know. I want to be an astronaut. I want to go to the moon and eat moon cheese. I want to become the president of the United States. I want to scratch my butt in public. Because I get really bad itches. And then Kenny would come up and be like, Ho! Oh, I want to get dysentery! Ho! Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wild fruit! Guys, we're gonna get over our scurvy. Arg! Arg, give me a it. All I need to do is lose an A. Arg! Because, you know, pirates have hooks and eyes, so let's cut off her hands. And, uh, and whenever next person who breaks their leg, we're just going to cut it off and replace it with a peg leg. Yeah. Going to become the pirates of, uh, of the Central Plains. We ride around in our, on our wagons, and, you know, we roll up next to other wagons, and we, like, jump on them and, and pillage them. And, of course, we, we eventually find a cannon. It's a weird song for Soda Springs, by the way. It goes with the pirate theme, though. And after we cut out the the hole in the wagon tarp, uh, we're going to stick the cannon there. We're just going to be firing off cannon shells as we, like, slow motion chase people with cows. Oxen. Like, it's not even like the Wild West, like, horse chariot races, because, like, those at least are semi-fast. These are oxen. <laughs> Alright, we're, go we're going pretty slow for this shit. But, uh, they're, they're, they're durable. You know, you gotta give them that. The oxen are very durable. So, they can they can carry a wagon that has a cannon and a bunch of cannonballs in it. So, we can, like, shut up oxen. We can, like, you know, just exploderate all of the other wagons that are trying to get to this area. Trying to get Oregon before us. And, uh, is that a grizzly bear? I feel like that was a mistake to kill the fabled grizzly bear of yore. Its mother's coming. <laughs> oh man. What was I talking about? I feel like I had something funny that I was going off about. Or at least amusing. How the fuck did we get up here? That's what that guy's saying. <laughs> oh man. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna stop all of the uh, other wagons from getting dark. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great, though, honestly. We are the pirates of the Central Plains. <laughs> Taste our cannonball. Oh, man. It'd be fun. I'd have a good time if I could be a pirate of a Central Plains. Freaking. They'd call me the Sioux. <laughs> Get it? Alright. Because this. Okay. It was. That was a lame joke. I'm 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 ashamed. That was a lame joke, but I don't know. It was kind of classy. Wouldn't the Sioux be a little bit over like this this area like a little bit further over? Wouldn't that be the Sioux? They were the Rockies. Like they were a little bit. I don't know. I don't know my Indian, my Native Americans, as it would actually be termed. But oh, it's another grizzly bear. But. As we know, one bison's life is enough. Look at all these other creatures. Roaming free, not being shot and perforated by bullets. Because I got the one bison. I really wanted to kill him because he's a dick who runs faster than the other guys. He's like, <laughs> look how fast I can go. <laughs> he's like that dick in the fancy car who just tries to like, who, who speeds past you and you're obeying traffic laws just because he's got a fancy car. It's like, wow. That's nice, bro. You know. How much money did you waste on that Ferrari? I hope a lot. Because why the hell do you need it? It's a waste of your money. 
unless you, you know, want to be a rule breaker and not follow speed limits, then good for you. You know, I'm very proud of you for wasting money just to not follow speed limits. I can do that in a crappier car that costed far less. It's just, it's just impractical to have this fancy, expensive car. It's like, good, good for you. I hope you get into a wreck and, you know, you, all that money is just wasted. It's like, that's, 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 that's how I view cars. You know, they're just worthless. They're forgetting to point A to point B. I don't actually wish, you know, ill upon people with fancy cars. I'm just saying it's a point. It's it, like, that's what could happen. They're one of the most easy to lose material positions. So it's like, why would you put so much cash into it? I don't know. That's my thoughts on that. Although I guess you could say the same for houses. You know, so easy to burn. Get hit by tornado. Fall apart in an earthquake. But I'd rather have a house than a car. 12 feet deep. Well, the... Well... Well, companion, I hope you're ready for a swim. Let's take a coke. We're gonna fill our wagon with thaw. Don't smoke now, companion. Oh, companion, you smoked! Oh, why did you smoke in the wagon? Oh, you freaking... Ah. Oh. oh, we lost the wagon, excellent. It's your fault. Why, why would you light up in the freaking back of the wagon with all the tar? Oh, well. Probably didn't help that we took a swim. So am I the only one left? Yes, I am. And now, the question is, will our single fabled hero reach the end? Or will he get cholera, then go for a swim, and die? It remains to be seen. Oh, and it's very hot. This is like... Man, this is weather that I that you don't want to be out and working out, you know, getting tired, sweating, being like, oh, heat stroke, falling over, shooting a cannon at another wagon and blowing it up, and then being like, shit, that was, that made it even more warm in this damn wagon. And of course, you're sleeping with the oxen, so like, you know, that's how that's how that's how the black plague started, you know. Europeans would be like, man, it's cold out tonight, how? Oh. And they would, they, they don't speak like that, They're, but they would go out and they would, you know, they'd try to sleep with their animals because it'd keep them warm, and kitty cat. Uh, did you just step on my computer and pause the game? That is impressive. Now he's gone, he jumps up here. Really? On top of Old Smokey? Is that what you said? Oh my god, I, I wasn't paying attention, but... They're singing on top of Old Smokey. <laughs> nice. That's a, that's a blast from the past. Well, I guess this, this whole game is a blast from the past, stupid. But, um... Yeah, that's some, something I haven't heard in a while. Probably because the last time I heard it was... In this game. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Who would have thought? Shut up, oxen! God. Is good better than fair? I don't... I don't know. At least I have a lot of food, guys! And a lot of clothes, guys! Because <laughs> I have everybody else's clothing! Because they're dead! And I'm alive! All alone! My sister once, like, did this game ludicrously fast as the teacher. She took the the super pace, and for some reason, she just got an amazing luck, and people never got sick or anything. And she got a huge score multiplier at the end. It was ludicrous. Oh, this game's also fun, because whenever your whole party dies, you can leave words in your tombstone. It's kind of cool. So, uh, if you had a family computer, um, and a lot of people were using it, he could have so many tombstones. It was great. <laughs> Especially in school. Oh god. Back in the day. <laughs> there would be some great tombstones. Uh, oh. Do I have another one? 
mean, I could try. Ha, I'm skilled. I'm not ambidextrous because that'd mean that I, you know, wasn't right hand dominant. But I wish I was ambidextrous. That'd be great. But I'm right hand dominant. Um. Um. I mean, why not? Wow, am I, I'm a talented guy. Ah, that's nice. Shortcut, so I can drown in the dallies. Or the delays. Delay, I don't know. I don't know if the S is silent, it might be. See if the dallies are delay, I guess, but, you know. I'm, what can I say? I'm just a stupid Pennsylvanian. What do I know? English? Not even. Ah. 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 Uh. Ooh. I can. Yay. Nice. Oh, it actually tells you how long. Well, that's. My god. They thought of that. What am I sick with? Typhoid? Mm. <laughs> Nose bleeding. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. My nose is going to bleed, guys. Well, I'm the only one left, and, you know, I really don't want to die just yet, so let's let's rest for almost a week. Oh, man. All I got is typhoid. <sighs> I could actually just rest here for the rest of time. I mean, really. What's the winner going to do to me? I'm a goddamn god. No! No! Ah! So how we doing? I have no clothes. I'm naked. Uh, I have no spare stuff. I think now's the time to trade. Probably should try to get some spare materials. No, I need I need my other wagon wheel. You noob. Stay out of here. Can I get some clothes? I need clothes. Guys, I'm naked. I mean, I know, I know you don't want to trade with the guy who's naked, but can I at least have one set of clothing? Really? No one? No one? I always have clothing to spare. Guys! Oh! Guys! Fine, I'll just go naked. I don't care. I'm a man. It's September. What's the worst that can happen? It gets really cold and I get frostbite. I could fall in this lake and drown. Oh, I mean, I could, I could drown anyway. Well, depends. Depends on what clothing. I mean, you know, you can do that thing where you put air in your clothes and you, you kind of like use this as like makeshift uh, lifetation device, depending on what clothing you're using. So, if I had that kind of clothing, I mean, you know, maybe. Does anyone know what I'm even talking about? I don't. I don't know if they do. That's such a. That's such a trick. People don't really know. Most people think that whenever you like are in water and you need to, you know. Most people think that you just gotta like throw off all your clothes just to have less weight. But if you actually need to just, you know, kind of rest, you just make this look flotation device thing. Alright. I mean, I don't really have much money to pay. Dun 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 Here we go. We're rafting down the river. <laughs> There's a one man left, he's rafting down the river to Oregon. When he gets there, he'll make a house and he'll live there happily. He'll live there happily. 
Now if I get hit by a rock, I will sink and drown. There's a naked man falling down the river. Will he get to Oregon? Will he get to Oregon? The only way the will ever know is if he reaches there and tells his tale and makes some kids in Oregon. In Oregon. Hey! We made it to uh, Willamette Valley. Only me. All of my friends are dead. But, you know, I feel like I feel like this is still a win because I didn't like any of them anyway. And that's where I would end the, end the video, but I have to talk to. So, yeah, that's it. The Oregon. Woo! The, uh, the, uh, the previous versions of this game were a little bit more um, of the educational variety, more, you know, this is like the condensed super version, kind of. Like you can find some of the older ones that are like really, really good, if you want. And I would, I would, you know, I would suggest it. But this is one of like, this is like the fast one for funsies more so than anything else. I played this one like crazy, so I have a lot of nostalgia towards this particular one more so than the others, just because you know, this is like the greatest thing ever since sliced bread at the time i mean i had like honestly at, at the time that i was really playing this i had like five games six maybe i had the oregon trail warcraft or warcraft 2 i don't know which one was out by that time uh, i think diablo you know um and roller coaster tycoon i think that was actually it you know, i didn't really have many pc games at the time and uh yeah, this was like one of those little things. And it was so fast too, you know, you just pop it up and be like la 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 and it's you know, it was a game I had for quite a while. I had it from, you know, Warcraft one to Warcraft three, lifespan wise, like uh that's how many years like I've had it. You know, like I had it at, on on that particular PC and then I killed that PC in a horrible fashion. Um and that was Oddly enough, after I had killed my monitor by causing an electric fire, I then killed my computer by causing an electric fire. <clears throat> but you know, <clears throat> what, whatever. Some mis mistakes mistakes were made. But um, yeah. So uh, I made a really shitty score. <clears throat> yep. Ah, probably the best, most MLG. But mm. oh yeah. Look at me. I'm. 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 My name is Stephen Meek. Mm. Yeah, that was. That. That's me. <laughs> I mean, you know, I wish. <laughs> uh, I suck. <laughs> but that's the Oregon Trail. You know, nice little fun game, and there was uh, a lot of nostalgia behind this thing. But great, great time. I don't know. I had fun playing it right now. Rambling on. I didn't throw up. After ingesting body wash, I mean, my god, I count that as a win. 